everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And Funkaholic too. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Me too. Um, I have a few things. First of all, I'd like to make a tiny update on the um, lawsuit that Funko has apparently filed uh, against Loot Crate for copyright infringement and a couple other little things. Not little, but couple other things. I just did some digging around online and I noticed the other boxes. Uh, I know we talked yesterday about their gaming box and how, how that one has Funko on it and of course Funko products in it. So I went and looked at the other some of the other cases they have at Walmart and none of the other ones have um, have Funko on them or in them apparently however I did see one with Star Wars and it had the Star Wars logo and that could be another big problem because Disney owns Star Wars and all things Star Wars and they are the one who um, allows people to use that logo for however m amount of money it would be and I'm just wondering if maybe Disney hasn't caught on yet or um, maybe they had an arrangement I don't know but there it is you know in color if you want to I just googled um, Loot Crate and uh, a Fungo lawsuit and it came up with the actually it came up with our video and it came up with um, you know some of the boxes so I just looked at each one and the only other thing besides the gaming box that has the Funko logo is uh, the other box uh, I think it's a sci-fi box and it has the Star Wars logo on it and like I said I wouldn't I would rather fight Funko with one hand tied behind my back than to even think about trying to fight Disney because they just are they win everything they win <laughs> so um yeah good i really hope it turns out good for both of them i hope something can be worked out right now it remains to be seen uh, the other thing on a much brighter note is that we have a couple drawings going on don't we we sure do we do and one of them is for the Disney box that is right now for sale on um, Hot Topic. I happen to have picked up an extra last time I was in there. And it is earmarked for one of my um, subscribers. So how do you win it? Well, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're interested in winning this Disney box, it's Lilo and Stitch themed. And um, you have to subscribe or if you want to enter, I would love you to subscribe. You would have to uh, turn on notifications because that's how you're going to know when I put up a new video. I do a surprise uh, video once a month while well, I do a bunch I do a video just about every day but I um, pick a surprise that I'm going to give away so there's really two prizes I give away every month and if you want to get see what that one is and get into that one then you know you need your notifications turned on and then I'll pop up there and you can read the video I also don't read my video, just close your eyes and listen because I have this soothing voice that everybody loves. <laughs> and um, I almost always, hiding them now, I almost always have some pops to show you, um, mostly new, but sometimes I get to trade for older pops that I love. And today is one of those days when I have some pops. Yesterday, I was just sad. I only had one pop. Actually, it's still sitting here because I haven't put it on Pop Price Guide yet. 
So this is my little Ron Weasley, and I just love him. He is a FYE. I had yesterday said he was an entertainment earth. Well, duh. He, no, he's FYE. I still don't like that little thing. He, could, he should say FYE, but it ain't my company. So today I have these... Um, things to show you so anyways here's what you need to do subscribe to my channel thank you very much turn on notifications and let's see hit the bell hit, yeah that's turning on notifications that's the bell everybody knows where the bell is not and that you have to hit it not me i know he doesn't he's quiet and he doesn't know a lot computer illiterate illiterate He's a nice guy. Anyway. Anyway, um, also, if you could possibly give me a thumbs up, that would be ever so helpful. And if you can really, really go out on a limb for me and share this video or any of my other videos, that would be great. Um, and then, of course, you have to leave a comment below. And um, this one... The comment for this one would be, I would like to enter your um, drawing for a Disney, the Disney box. Now, as soon as I um, put up the other prize, then you're going to have to start all over. Uh, well, you don't have to start over at the Disney box, but then you have to start um, and say, okay, can I enter that? You, know, you can enter that one too. Okay, I'm getting all tongue-tied. Anyways, um... If you want to enter, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In this company, they totally need to sponsor me, but they won't. They might someday. <laughs> that tastes so good. Coke. It is not Coke. And shush up. We do not. <laughs> I'm always doing this. We do not recommend any one soda company over another. Well, I do, but I can't tell you that. And it wasn't that one, by the way. Anyway, yeah, it's that kind of channel. <laughs> Anyway, so if you could um, do all that, and then like today, you would just have to say, I'd like to enter your drawing for the Disney box, and then when the next prize is announced, you do have to re-enter for that prize. You don't have to worry about the Disney prize as soon as you're, you're entered, uh, and I see it. I don't know. This issue has been going on. I just can't fix it. Anyways. As soon as I see that you asked to be entered, I will answer you with um, sometimes a hi, how are you, or just thank you for entering. I always give you the, a little thumbs up and a heart because that's polite and I like to do it. It also means that I saw you and you, you will get a little tag like this in a little box. <laughs> We do things the old-fashioned way here because I can keep track of it better that way. So, um, then, besides that, I am trying to get to a thousand, um, a thousand subscribers, which of course is a magic number here on the YouTubes. And in order to do that, I am sponsoring a wonderful giveaway, I think in which one person will be chosen from all the people who enter and we will be giving you a virtual trip virtual meaning you'll be over a computer your phone your laptop uh, ipad whatever and we will be here in oregon driving to washington what's in washington uh, funko headquarters that's right. Funko Headquarters store, to be more to be more precise. And what we will be doing is the minute we walk in, we'll walk over to the left and start with the Harry Potter section and then um, the Disney section. 
I always stop and kiss Maleficent because she's my very favorite. And then we go all around the store to each section. And then you have $100 to spend. And you just tell us what you want to get and we will go pick it up for you. And when you have up to $100, we will check out. Of course, I may still be shopping for, I don't know, a little while. And then, and then we will send you your prize that you got to pick out from the um, store uh, up in Everett, Washington that has big old Funkos on the outside of the store. It's so cool. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's, what's, that's what that is. To my um, good, good friends and, co and um, constant companions here on the YouTubes, Welcome to you too. You're you're not like unwelcome. You're welcome. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know. Anyways, so I did get some pops today. The mail lady brought them. She always knocks on the door in a certain way so that I know it's her because I'm back here kind of alone. And uh, yeah, there she was, and she just kept passing stuff to me. She gave me some damn bills, too. I told her to just take them away, shove them. I don't care. Don't want them. But she didn't. So anyways, these are what I have. The first one is Buddy Elf with a raccoon who's looking at it, up at him. I don't know if he knows how wicked raccoons can really be but they can. <laughs> he looks a little worried. This was, I believe, the first offering from the Funko store of their 12 Days of Christmas. And I, I bought a few more of them. Um, I didn't buy today. It, today's was a Freddy Funko, and I, it just didn't do it for me. But um, yeah, this is what's going on with this. Now, also, don't forget that every day, no, no, I'm wrong, every Friday <laughs> for the next two Fridays, I think, are left, will be um, the, the Target um, exclusive. And it's online only, so it's a lot easier to get than getting up out of it. It could be raining, it could be snowing, go to Target. No, you just get up on the computer. Thing is, it's 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. So to me, that would be 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for the rest of the place, you need to figure out what time it is because you have to be there on time. And it all happens on the same time, no matter where you are. So you have to figure out what time, uh, what time you need to be where. Anyways, today was um, the Britney Spears box, and it has a T-shirt and a Britney Spears of uh, the uh, "Hit Me Baby One More Time" era. So she's dressed up like a slutty little. <laughs> little school girl at a Catholic school or something. I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from, but <laughs> it appears that next week, next Friday, one week from today, the um, the pop that will be offered will be uh, zero. The, the, the dog from... Uh, his name is Zero, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He, he's the target dog with, you know, the red and all that. Oh, no, the bullseye. Bullseye, bullseye. Zero. Zero's Night, night of the... <laughs> Zero's Nightmare Before Christmas. But he's so much cooler. But anyways, yes, bullseye. They're, they're having um, a bullseye. Uh, last week, they had the... Um, Die Hard, and it is still available. Whitney's Whitney Britney Spears is still available. The Green Goblin 10 inch is still available. The only one that has sold out so far 
has been the um, 10 inch Pikachu. However, I know this is supposed to be online only, but I know that our target actually got quite a few in uh, the next week because we went we went to um, go in and uh, pick up some, you know, go, sh go on a little pop hunt and they told us, yeah, we, we had like quite a few of them and they were already gone, but I didn't need one because I already had one. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on. We don't know so far what will be after Bullseye, but that one will be the last one. And of course, every day for the next several more days, the uh, Fungo Shop will have their um, 12 Days of Christmas. And it started, I guess, in the 1st. So it'll end on the 12th. Okay. Next, I have, and you know, I had so much trouble with this company that I will never buy pops from them again. And I hate to say it, well, you're going to know right away. And it's Sarah Sanderson. I believe her name's Sarah. Yeah. Winifred Sanderson. And Mary Sanderson. Put them together and you've got the three witches from Hocus Pocus. I wanted these. Now the one I thought I was ordering, which was shown on their site, was, um, I'm going to hold Bette Midler because Lord knows she could use some holding. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but anyways. Um, I, uh, sorry, Belle. I ordered these and paid for them. And I started realizing I ordered those because I saw somebody else that already got theirs. So I went and couldn't find my payment anywhere. So I looked at, because what happened is I, I uh, paid through PayPal. It wouldn't take my card. I, I have the stupid card from the government when I get my social security and a lot of companies just like try and buy gas with it. Good luck. But, um, so I don't know if that's what happened, but what I do with it is I go to, uh, PayPal and pay through there with my card and that usually works fine. Well, apparently it got canceled and nobody told me. So I went to the site and I went and looked at my orders and it said, you have no orders. And I was like, really? And then I thought, well, I'll, I'll reorder them. And then I thought, you know what? Why do I want to support a company that couldn't bother to even send me an email to tell me that they were, you know, that, that the order had been canceled and, or, and for what reason. I would really like to know why. But, um, you know, what am I supposed to do? So all of a sudden, out of the clear blue sky, I had a charge for the, the 44. Oh, and I was telling you, the ones I was buying was supposed to be a three pack, not, not separate ones. It was supposed to be a three pack. That's what they were showing. Not a big deal. I'd rather have a three pack than than three separate ones that I have to that I have to um, you know keep track of and put up and you know the whole thing. But um, that's fine. I'm I I got them and I had originally I did at one point email them because of it not coming up at all on my website. We almost stopped in one time too, but that would have been a mistake <laughs> because I lose it. I literally lose it when people are stupid. You should have seen me today with this person over the phone who 
kept trying to tell me I didn't understand what he said. Well, you're damn right I didn't understand you because you made no sense. What you said wasn't what I asked. I had to ask him five times. I got the same answer all five times. But the last time I told, I asked him, where did this money go? Where does this money go? And where does that money go? He wasn't happy, but he told me. <laughs> and Bill was sitting, <laughs> Bill was sitting there listening, looking straight ahead because he knows. Oh no, not again. He knows I'm going to lose it. I am going to lose my mind and people will be flying left and right like there's no tomorrow. And Bill just... I got up and got the pill. <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> so I feel okay right now. I'm a little tired. And um, I'd rather be sitting on a beach with a pina colada. Or just sitting here with a pina colada. But I can't drink, so the pills will have to do. Any hay. So that's my Hocus Pocus set. I love this one. I love it. I absolutely love it because it's Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter pop. It's the Bloody Baron. Who doesn't love this? this is the third ghost they've done. And we've tried it. They've done the Bloody Baron. This one. They've done ne Nearly Headless Nick. And they've done uh, Moaning Myrtle. Very underrated character, that Morning Myrtle. She's, she's pretty funny. I have to look at this one. This one isn't as see-through as the other two are. Okay. What did you do to me? I didn't do nothing to him. I'll do something to you in a minute. Okay, well. Oh, it only needs one. Okay. This is not as see-through as the others are. But I do love that the Bloody Baron, given his name, does have some blood on him. And he is... A head of hair. He does have a head of hair. I, I think a lot of us females would um, just about do anything for that head of hair. He can keep the blood, though. So, yeah, Bill and I were trying to figure out what other ghost could they do because we've got the three main ones. I was thinking about the ghost riding the horse. He said that. And I think that tips its hat to the uh, nearly headless Nick uh, death day party. A scene they should have done from the book and they didn't but then they could have had like you know a movie moment with all the guys telling nearly headless Nick that he can't be part of the headless horseman club because he's only nearly headless seems like a very small technicality to me oops Here, I'm having not a good day. <laughs> it's all that guy's fault. You know, plus he talked over me. Don't talk over me ever, because it, it will just, I can't reach the damn thing. So it always falls in the, um, in the I can't reach zone. Right here, right there. It always falls there, no matter what I drop. I could drop it over there and it'll fly over here. You're sitting on my hair. You're sitting on my hair. Thank you. Jeez. Um, I have one more thing, but it's the best one, I think. It is this. I have been waiting for this forever. Not as long as for the, uh, the Sanderson sisters, which I... I uh, ordered way before Halloween. 
Bill, is there the knife somewhere? Please tell me you have it somewhere. Oh, uh, well, okay. Thank you. Don't hurt my bloody baron. Too much. Too much. Okay. I won't cut you too much. Okay, guys. So, this is the last thing I have to show you, but it's a goodie. And let me see. I need it over here. Yeah. He put it, made it purdy again. Is this one back? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Oh, I gave him old. <laughs> okay. So, this Pennywise is much different than the other Pennywise. Pennywise is. It, you know, would it be too hard to say, can you move your hair? I'm sitting down and not just flop down on top of my hair. Would that, would that. What you doing on my side? Because it's long and it just goes walk and move at once. Oh, this is an awesome side. This is from, um, hmm. I can't think of where this is from. It's not from the usual places. I think it might have been FYE. Don't know. I'd probably say in the pop. FYE. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is the t shirt. I always show people the t shirt first, no matter what because I want to see it. <laughs> okay, now I brought the other one out to see if this was different. Oh yeah, it's different. This is the one from the box from uh, Hot Topic. And it says, we all float to, you'll float to. And this one says, Introducing Pennywise, the dancing clouds. We all float down here. Who's waiting with bated breath for the next movie? I am, I am. Okay, here's, here's the most spectacular part. He's... <laughs> my hair. He's the black and white Pennywise. <laughs> There's a black and white Pennywise from uh, the miniseries and it's of course Tim Curry but it's like $43 now. He just looks nasty. Looks This are the, these are, yeah, the last, this last, um, this last wave. I think there will be another wave before the movie comes out, and I think there will be uh, one or two at Emerald City Comic Con. So... We will see. Oh, maybe, uh, I don't know exactly when the movie comes out. I, I'm thinking maybe at the San Diego Comic Con, if not at the Emerald Con Comic Con, and if not at both. Okie dokie pokey. Um, I think that's all I've got. So we need some new addresses, though. Oh, the addresses. Yes. Uh, tell me who. Regina? Uh, Regina, I I don't need your address. I need Johnson's address to send your prize to Johnson. Dewey. Dewey. Acceptable channel. I, for some reason, can't find your address. Johnson. That's Johnson. I need your address, Johnson. Do you have Regina's? 
I don't know because I'm not sending it to Regina. The I'm, eight goes to yeah, Regina. Right. I'm or not red sending it. I know, but it's not going to her because it's easier oh. to send it to Johnson because he gets, you know, okay. he's he's in a big city, I guess, and, and they're not. I don't know how it works, but anyways, that's what I always do. So, I need those three addresses. Everything else has been shipped out, so if you um, won something, it's all been shipped out. Um, the person I owe the Pennywise to if you can contact me, my email is my first and last name put together, T-E-R-R-A-K-I-N-G-1957 at hotmail.com. And as soon as you can do that, we can get those in the mail and get, get them done because tomorrow is Saturday and I will have a couple pops to give away tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want a million I have to send all at the same time. So, anyways, that is all I have to show you. Hopefully tomorrow maybe I'll have some pops. I always save them for the, uh, the live stream. And if I happen to come across anything else on the lawsuits, uh, I will um, have it have it for you then it's um it seems to be hurrying up and going nowhere as these things do probably will be going through court for a long time and like i said i don't know i don't know who's gonna do what to who but i just hope it doesn't leave collectors out without either their loot crate or you know uh whatever I think it only affects the loot crates that actually put the Funko logo on the front of the case and those are the only one case that I was able to find and it is at Walmart. So it may not be that big a deal. They can pull those cases and maybe do some kind of fin financial settlement and then, um, you know, not advertise, uh, that Funko's even in there. And that's what's been going on and that that's a, could be another problem. Anyways, I am going to go. Where are you going? I'm going to somewhere. Thought you were going to sing for a minute. He's clearing his pipes. Okay, well, we're not going anyway. Anyways, so we're going to watch some... She's asleep. We're going to watch some TV, hope that whatever critters in our house just stays where he is and we don't have to deal with them. Anyways, we love you guys and see ya. Six o'clock tomorrow evening, Pacific yep. Standard Time. Bright and early. Bye bye.